With the nation on alerts given the staggering COVID-19 statistics, few institutions are escaping the scrutiny of the media and the public for their adherence to the COVID-19 protocols. So, with Tuesday's sitting of the House of Assembly, questions were being asked about the seating arrangements and how this conforms to the set recommendations. Who best to put the questions to than the one who presides over the chamber, Speaker Andy Daniel, who says the Office of the Parliament has made arrangements in order to conform to the protocols. Information is um, that my staff have check all the SIs related to social distancing and all the other protocols relevant to us. We have changed the layout in the chamber to allow for the maximum social distancing that we can. So in the well of the chamber we'll have a limited number of members and we'll use the public gallery through social distancing for the other members. The SI that you're referring to limiting numbers, whether or not um, it should have applied to Parliament does not speak to that. But we as a Parliament will do all in our powers to control and keep with whatever provisions or protocols in terms of social distances that we, we can put in place. But are the adjustments adequate? Why should churches, for example, far bigger than the Chamber of Parliament, be mandated to hold far fewer people than Parliament does? Speaker Daniel says though Parliament is trying to follow the rules, it is not bound by them, as it was not included in the statutory instrument. But the SI you're referring to does, refers to social gatherings. It does not, in my opinion, refer to, to the parliament. I'm not sure, I'm not saying it, it parliament should not observe any of the protocols, but I'm saying the SI that you're referring to which limits the number of persons in a gathering refers to social gatherings. Speaker Daniel says the adjustments to the arrangements in parliament were constrained by his absence. He says he had been placed in quarantine because he had come into contact with someone who tested positive. So let me say something very personal here. I am just two days out of quarantine. Not quarantine because I tested positive, but quarantine because I was exposed to someone. So in as much as I would have loved to have this or partially um, virtual, um, I've been restricted in terms of what I've been able to do over the last three weeks. There are clear adjustments made to the seating arrangements in Parliament, but are the changes adequate? Should the idea of holding a virtual sitting be considered? Should speakers be made to use masks when making their contributions in order to limit the spread of droplets? All questions being asked of an institution expected to take the lead in setting the example for the rest of the nation to follow. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.